Assalamualaikum. I wanted to talk to you about one of the mistakes that we do um, when we facing difficult situations in our life, specifically as the people of faith, specifically as the Muslims. Um, it, it, it sort of uh, happens uh, out of nowhere. The ibtila or um, uh, or any change in our life um, in the form of disease, in the form of mental health struggles, in the forms of relationship issues, be it divorce or separation, uh, in the form of uh, physical health diagnosis, those things they come to our life, and we tend to we tend to think, uh, Subhanallah, uh, why me? So the first thing that we do, the first mistake that we do is a victim victimhood. It's 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 initiated in us straight away. And another thing that we might do is completely deny the idea to, to completely avoid uh, responsibility and deny the fact that you know what my life has changed and I have to add first I have to recreate my ways of. Uh, growing, my ways of coping, my ways very often even parenting, on showing up in my relationships. So the fitna, the iptila, those times and those difficulties, they will always happen. We forget about it. So another thing is like we we completely uh, uh, completely in a state of amnesia. It's like we we have a vision for life. And we think it's going to continue the way we want, but we forget that we might have a plan. But his plans are much greater. He, they, his plans, subhanAllah, are better for us. My message uh, for you today, if you were making any of those mistakes, meaning going into victimhood mode, why me? Or avoiding the thing, oh, it's not happening. It's not about me, actually. It, you know, going into more delusions uh, in terms of I can live my life the way I used to live before. Uh, my mission, uh, my, 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 my advice to you, and it works for so many, I hope it will work for you as well, is that, you know, everything that happens from him, uh, and he created us of out of Rahma, is uh, in theory, and in practice, if you prepare to see it that way, from uh, from the best intentions for you to get closer to him, that's number one, uh, for you to uh, get a better sense of you and purify you at the level of spirit. And for most, it's for her, it's for your better, it's for your betterment, betterment in this dunya and betterment for your akhara. And your only job here is to acknowledge it and uh, show up for it and then educate, educate yourself how to move on, how to continue like your life, despite or maybe because of this iptila or because of this um, of this uh, fitna. Uh, the first thing ever that he said to us in Quran was ikra, read, educate yourself. That means that should already give you indication that you will always be a subject to flux, always subject to flexibility, always subject to movement always subject to change, improvement, that's what we want to say uh, in uh, in today's psychology, improvement, uh, growth, development, involvement. So, so remember that where you are, who you are, with whom you are, and the shape of your body and the state of your affair, of your health, it should not be taken for granted and for most can change. And educating yourself about sudden diagnosis, which is never sudden, by the way, about diabetes, uh, cancer, um, HDHD, schizophrenia, autism spectrum for yourself or for your loved ones, even maybe for your children ones. Uh, you know, things like uh, losing children, losing hope to have child or, you know, miscarriaging. Those things, if they happen to your life, you need to open the book, get an advice, and stop counting on magic pill. There's, you know, there's, there's no pills, no invented pills to um, completely erase the pain. The pain is building you, the pain is changing you. And if you allow it, it will change you for better. If you navigate your way through Iptila and your, 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 your ways through um, Itna, uh, there is a hope 
there is a help that you're doing your job because if anything you want to stand in front of your lord the day of judgment and say you know what i experienced this difficulty and that difficulty and they felt like torment and they felt like punishment and they felt like mission impossible but i stood up i found a level of self-responsibility i found the curiosity to learn i found a ways of getting away from the person who I was and I found the courage and strength to meet the person that I need to become. So my, in short, my advice to you, if any of those uh, you can relate to, if any of those make sense to you, and I hope they do, uh, anything that happens to us is for hire. Make it, make the best out of it and make it true hair for you. Learn how you can take it and run with it and turn it into her for your dunya and her. And for more videos like this, sign up to YouTube channel AJS Therapy. Assalamu alaikum.